From the field list, select Sales Outlet and drag it to the area marked Drop Row Fields Here and release the mouse button. You'll notice two things. The Row Fields area now has a gray header with a pull-down arrow and a list of all groupings from the Sales Outlet field. This header is known as a Field button. Excel automatically determines these groupings by finding all identical entries in the table and grouping them together. The Sales Outlet field in the field list is now bold, indicating it is used in this pivot table. Remember, in this pivot table, we are only looking for one piece of information, the number of books sold at each store. We need to add the Books Sold field on our field list. That's because each row in our original table represents a book sold. We need to use a variable from the table to represent one book sold. In this case, we have a transaction ID, a unique seven-digit code identifying each sales record. We can count how many individual books were sold by using this number. Select Transaction ID from the Pivot Table list and drag it to the area marked Drop Data Items Here and release the mouse button to drop the data into the field. Here is the finished pivot table. Above the Sales Outlet Field button, we see a new field button, Count of Transaction ID. This shows us the data summarized in the table is Transaction ID, the count of this data is being reported, and is grouped by Sales Outlet.